I did get emotional when I said goodbye to the dog. Yeah. I nearly, that's the time I nearly cried because I was thinking, she doesn't know why she's not going to see me. Oh, oh don't, do, don't do that. She just I thinks, oh, well, I told my agent. He said he's going to call me I back. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. And I'm probably, I'm probably overestimating uh, how much that dog cares about seeing me. But in, in my mind, it was like the end of Casablanca. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we are joined by a man who I always love interviewing when, when we've got him on Zoom because we see this wonderful wall that he sits yeah. in front of that has just got... I mean, I'm looking now at Emmys, BAFTAs, pretty much everything you like. Bottles of champagne as well, which I'd like to know where they come from. It's Ricky Gervais! Yeah! yeah! Um, Ricky, you. Afterlife, which has just gone... I mean, has it gone beyond your expectation? Because, I mean, it's just oh, yeah. got bigger and bigger. Yeah, I mean, it, it went beyond my expectations, the first series. And then... And also Netflix grows. So now, uh, you know, uh, b being on the biggest platform in the world, it's got 200 and something million, uh, you know, uh, subscribers. So it's, it's, it's crazy. But um, yes, um, you, you're, still, you're still surprised. There's a lot out there. There's a lot to compete with. There's a lot for things to people to watch. So uh, it's, you know, it's still an honour. And I mean, the biggest thing that, that, that shocked me was the, the emotional reaction to it, that people coming up to you and saying, oh, they lost their dad or their granddad or their wife or their and you realize that everyone's grieving and and uh you realize that people even though it's about a dark subject and sad people like seeing their life reflected on telly particularly if it's something that isn't usually reflected and uh i don't know why we shy away from things like that i, I i'm so happy that it's it's gone down as well as it has yeah Oh, hundred percent, and I feel like it is that un unlikely combination of a very sad subject combined with comedy, which you don't yeah. always get very often. When writing it, is it is it quite difficult to get that balance? Yes, it is, and you know, you you say you don't get it, but you don't usually get it on TV or or sitcom, but you do get it in real life. Yeah, real life is in your head. There are good things and bad things every few seconds. You know, you have a great day, then you get a terrible text. You're having a great day and your dog's ill. And you're having a great day. And, th and in real life, that is exactly what, what it's like. It, it, it is up and down and worries and anxieties and, and um, things going wrong and trying to get through. Um, but yeah, I was worried uh, initially when I first started writing it. I said, can they, can they laugh after they've just seen this guy be suicidal and grieving about his wife dying of cancer? And the answer is yes, it depends how you do it. And I think you do it honestly. I think that's how you do it. You know, um, I, I, I made him angry and sad and uh, lashing out. And that's, that's funny. And I think, I think we live vicariously through his candor. The fact that this is someone who says what he wants because he's going through grief. And so it's like an excuse for th this man to just go around <laughs> saying what we're all thinking. <laughs> <laughs> what has been your favourite moment starring as him? I gave the character a dog, so I'd have a dog for um, the shoot. So I love working with uh, the dog. Um, uh, I like the... Um, I mean, working with David Earl as Brian Gittins, just the silly <laughs> stuff I really like. But... Then I like I like the real stuff as well, and uh, you know I like I really like Carrie's role as you know the the the, the dead wife. In fact, when I first called her to cast her, I said, I said "Do you want to play my dead wife?" <laughs> <laughs> he said, "What do you mean I'm a corpse?" <laughs> I went, "No, no, no, no." no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sort of weird horror film. <laughs> Ricky, you did mention the dog. Now, if there's one thing that they say in the industry, it's saying don't don't work with dogs or kids. Now, you actually yeah. work with both. Um, yes. Did what? How did you find it? And did you do you, do you miss I, the dog? I prefer it to other actors. <laughs> all you do, all you do, is hold up a little sausage, and she does work, which is exactly how they get me to act. That's exactly what they do to me. <laughs> Hey, I can imagine, like you know, the, the, you know these 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 series that, that you've made. You know, obviously, onto the third one now. When it comes to like the rap party of the series, it must be quite an emotional rap party. Or does it? Or does it? Is it a proper party party? Um, uh, no, it is nice because it's not like a rap party where you just go and everyone get gets drunk like you know one of your parties. <laughs> it's um, they 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 see what they've worked on. You know, they you show a couple of episodes, and uh, so it is nice, and it's and it is about the work, and it is about reflecting, and you know, everyone's friends, which is great. I've always worked with the same crew, and I try and you know always work 
um, uh, with the same people that I've got a lot of built up an ensemble. So it's nice. It's like getting together with a family, to be honest. Um, but um, no, it's not emotional. And um, I, I try and avoid that. Even like saying goodbye at the end of a shoot, I go, I see you at the rap party. I don't, I, I'm, I'm not really good with those sort of goodbyes. So, uh, you know, and I just tell myself, you know, it's not forever. I'll see you. I'll see you in a few weeks. I did get emotional when I said goodbye to the dog. Yeah. I nearly, that's the time I nearly cried because I was thinking she doesn't know why she's not going to see me. Oh, oh don't, don't, do, don't do that. She just I, thinks, oh, well, I told my agent, he said he's going to call me I back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm probably, I'm probably overestimating uh, how much that dog cares about seeing me. But in, in my mind, it was like the end of Casablanca. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. One, one, one of the things that I, I want to talk about, because it, one of my favourite moments that we've seen throughout the kind of Arsenal Life series were the bloopers. I was going to say the outtakes. Oh. Because, oh, brilliant. Ricky, we, we watch the bloopers uh, quite a lot from, from, from the show. And one of our favourite right. bloopers of all time is you and the lads in the pub going through nicknames. Oh. Yeah. So funny. Oh. Now, Unbelievable. Be, be honest. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are you, are you, they, they call it corpsing, right? So that when, yeah. when, you're, when you laugh in front of camera, you kind of break character. Are you the person that corpses the most? or Easily. Easily. Even if I've written the line and <laughs> I know it's coming, it still makes me laugh because they do it so well with such conviction. And those those lads, they did it, they became those characters. And so it was it was just suddenly absurd. <laughs> and they kept adding to it and they kept getting it worse. <laughs> we can't repeat any of them. No, on, no we can't. On air. No. But Other than gets Jamie worse. Redknapp, maybe. <laughs> 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 exactly. Yeah. Just, if he's listening, he's thinking, why is that funny? Why is that an insult? Right? But, <laughs> <laughs> it got so ridiculous. That, and, and in that blooper, I just, I'm sweating. It was a hot day. I'm sweating, right? And I'm dabbing. I'm going, I don't know what this is anymore. Right? And just, what have I done? <laughs> Is this going to go on the telly? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely yeah. ludicrous. Love that. Made Jamie Redknapp an insult. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Very brilliant. Very funny. Very funny. Now, Ricky, we actually did mention that you were coming on the show and we had so many texts coming in because they wanted to ask you so many questions. So I'm going to actually chuck a few of them to you now. Um, someone oh, actually God, said... <laughs> well, you, you mentioned the fact that Netflix has over 200 million, you know, subscribers, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, but apart from Afterlife, is there anything that you've been watching on Netflix that you would, you know, want to recommend? I don't think I've watched terrestrial television for about two years. I only watch like Netflix or Walter Presents or, and, and I don't think I've watched much in English. I, you know, I, I, watched, I watched these sort of Scandi noir um, dramas. Well, actually for all around the world. And um, I, you know, that, I think that's the beauty of it as well, that you can get the very best shows from around the world. So I probably watch less telly now than I did. Like instead of four hours flicking round, yeah. I watch two hours of the best programs from around the world. So yeah. things like, you know, um, Gamora, uh, Four Blocks, uh, you know, things like The Bridge, The Killing, all those. Um, uh, what about Squid Game? Did you jump on that? I did watch. Year? I did watch Squid Games, and that's not usually that's not my sort of thing at all. But I really enjoyed it, and it was fun and sort of comic book fantastical, and you know, I, I think it was really well done. Um, but no, usually I want some a little bit more, um, you know, uh, uh, real and human, and uh, uh, but you know, I I I I like that. I like Game of Thrones. I I I really like Last Kingdom and um, Vikings. So I do I do. Um, like those sort of uh, stuff, but um, no, it's it's usually um, it, it's usually something like you know a, a Dutch or a, a Swedish drama that I watch. Dutch or a Swedish drama? Not afraid yeah. of the old subtitle? Nah, not afraid I of know, the subtitle. No, I used to be, and, yeah. um, and now that I can make them big. I can see them as well. <laughs> <laughs> well it's not like Sean, poor Sean the other day. Oh, Sean, no. Sean, tell tell Ricky what you did. I went to see the new Spider-Man film and accidentally booked it, the deaf version. <laughs> so I so got... hold on. So is that someone signing in the in the corner? No, it was it was like a it was not just subtitles. It also told you what was happening at the same time. But what, I got said all the it? yeah no not said it but just like wrote it <laughs> in brackets. But it meant that I got all the spoilers. I knew he was going to Doctor oh, Strange's before house happened. before he did it. Yeah. Oh, I see. I yeah. missed yeah. all the punchlines. Yeah, I, I said something stupid there, like what it said it. That wouldn't help, would it? If, it, if they just said said things that were happening in the film for the death. That really wouldn't. Imagine that, that would, as well. It's very, it's very, yeah, imagine yeah, on that. On top of all the script. By the way, by the way, this is going to happen. Yeah. By the way, this is going to happen. Yeah, it'd be bad. Hey, look, yeah. uh, Ricky, look, you, you've had so much success. I mean, over you know so so many years as well. And and look, you've got 
everything out there. I mean, uh, after the, the Hollywood Walk of Fame and those types of things and, and Supernature being the biggest selling comedy tour of 2021, I see you reposting those types of things. I mean, what's next? 2022, what, what, what is next to, to, well, to be um, kind of demolished? I can't wait for Afterlife 3 to be out um, and, and then that's it. So uh, that, that feels, that's bittersweet. That's, that's, that's good and, and sad, but you've, you've got to move on. Um, I, I want to, uh, Supernature will be out on Netflix um, next year and I can't wait to start a new one. I've even got a title for it. I want to start doing warm ups as soon as possible. Ooh. I really love stand up now. I really, really love stand up. I, I, you know, I don't like the standing up bit. <laughs> soon, soon I'll be in a chair. I reckon. <laughs> Wheeled out. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Wheeled out. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, more stand up and um, and the next thing, whatever that is. You know, I've got a bit of a backlog. I've got three or four things, and you've got to you've got to make sure you choose the right one because it's like two or three years of your life. So, uh, um, but um, I can't wait to do more stand up. Yeah. Great, here for that. Hey, now, Sean, there is also something we, we need to talk about because we've spoken what? about this. Yeah. Oh, stop oh, it. No, well, I know we, what you're going to say. Ricky, you're going to love this. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think it's real. Ricky, we only found out the other day that a member of our team, Sean, um, actually once went on a date with a member one time of your team. No. You and Macintosh, Keith. From Keith the office. from the office. We didn't have a oh, date. Right. We didn't have a date. Right. We, had, we, we had lunch together. But right. it... The awkward thing was, and you're going right. to... Yeah, it was a day. Right. No, it was a day. I'm, all, I'm already getting embarrassed for you. I don't know what it is. This is obviously clearly set up to embarrass you in some way, just... and I'm already feeling embarrassed yeah. for you. So. This is something that she brought to the show. Well, it's just cringy okay. because basically okay. we, we went for a lunch meeting. We're like, we had like a nice lunch and yeah. when the bill when the bill came because i didn't want him to feel any sort of pressure or anything i said oh yeah we'll just go halves and right. paid all good and then when we left the the, the restaurant <laughs> he, he looked to me and he said actually um yours cost a lot more than mine oh no and, uh, right. <laughs> ricky no, he didn't that. ricky honestly i can't i can't <laughs> Right. Ricky, okay. I, I, I don't even. Oh, I don't even like knowing wait this. I walked, wait, 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 wait. I, I walked to the cash point and drew. A you gave him some money. No, you didn't. Oh, oh God. He robbed her. He robbed her. Tenor. Oh, gave him tenor back. He took her to the cash point and he robbed her. That's what happened, Ricky. <laughs> Okay, I don't so, know. Yeah, I don't awkward. Know what to do. See, I can write these things, but I can't hear them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ricky, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for chatting to us, mate. It's always such a pleasure to have you on My the pleasure. show. And uh, congratulations on Afterlife 3. Yeah. Uh, as we say, out today. It's absolutely fantastic. If you've enjoyed the, the first two seasons, we know you're going to love this one as well. It's a very emotional watch, so tissues at the ready. Let's hear it for the one, the only Ricky Gervais, yeah! everyone. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.